Hello everyone and in this video I'm going to give you a very quick look at this uh, new art book The Arts of Ready Player One which is a movie that just released about a week ago so I've seen it um, it's yeah actually I really enjoyed it uh, it's actually based on a novel right by you can see a novel Ready Player One by Ernest Klein and the movie adaptation is by the one and only Steven Spielberg and you can see that the forward to this book is by Steven Spielberg himself um, with an introduction by the author of the novel Ernest Klein okay so let's have a very quick look at the back uh, you can see the main characters here, Parsifal, Artemis <coughs> Um, and some of the supporting characters, right? And yeah, and I guess, yeah, the cover of the book, this is the uh, setting for the last scene um, in, in the movie, okay? Okay, so let's quickly wrap this. Alright, so let me firstly Okay, take off the jacket. Okay. And inside is just part of Ready Player One. Alright, so nothing at the back. So let's, uh, let me now quickly flip through the book. So out of Ready Player One, you've got the Iron Giant over there. There's the race from early in the movie. Got the forward by Steven Spielberg himself. An introduction by Ernest Klein, the uh, the author of the original novel. And here we have the start of the book. Let me actually flip, go back to the contents, um, just to see what's really in the book. So welcome to the Oasis, and you've got. The players, the spawning characters, quest begins off to the race. So it looks like it's in um, chronological order, right, of the movie, like scene by scene. So firstly, we've got the players, Parsifal, uh, Wait Watts is his real name, right, and then we've got Artemis, Samantha. It's the real name uh, H or Helen <clears throat> One of the funny characters in the movie We've got this one, Daito Again, a funny one This is Shaw uh, Anorak James Halliday himself right? The creator of the world of Oasis The curator and uh, Nolan, the uh, villain of the piece, Irock, his henchman. Uh, and yes, the quest begins. So here we've got more of the behind the scenes. Uh, so a lot of artwork, concept art. Yeah, concept art for a lot of the um, set settings in the movie. Off to the races. So this is the one of the very cool uh, car chases I've seen on film and all happens in the virtual world so Wade's world, so this is where he lives in the real world uh, trailer on top of trailers so it's a very interesting uh, visual for like where he's living in the real world um, okay so here we've got some of the suits and the actual uh, visors, right? Yeah, the visors to interface with the world of the Oasis. Okay, stacks. So, real world stuff. It, oh, yes, so this is the Shining, uh, which is one of the scenes in the movie, which was pretty cool because they used the set Shining movie as actually a plot device. Um, showdown on Planet Doom. So, this is where the uh, so this is a cover of 
Ah, uh, well, off the, off the jacket. Right, same thing. Right here. Planet Doom. What do we have here? Oh, wow, look at this. It's a spread. <laughs> Pretty cool spread. On the other side. <coughs> All right. <clears throat> yes, the Iron Giant is actually um, one of my. Uh, I guess I just say you know it's one of my favorite cartoons from the '90s. So to see it come to life again in this movie was the real highlight. <clears throat> and to see it actually perish, but in a heroic way. Okay, so this is near the end. An excellent adventure. That's the ending. Right. So that's the book. So I guess you know, like, gives you a better, better uh, glimpse of the world of the Oasis. Helps you explore the virtual world, the Oasis world, like never before. So I guess if you are a fan of the movie, well, you might want to check out the the art book as well. Uh, it's a fine companion piece to the novel, the movie, uh, and yeah. So, I, and personally, I think this is one of uh, Steven Spielberg's uh, good ones. So, you know, in recent years, he's done more serious stuff, right? Um, but to see him like go back to this kind of blockbuster style, really just fun adventure, it's a real treat, right? can really see Steven Spielberg sort of uh, reconnecting in a way with his inner child in this movie. Uh, and so I really enjoyed the movie, uh, and if you did, then you might want to check out this book as well. So thanks for watching, I'll see you in another video.